only thing that is necessary to pass a clean bill paying the salaries of every man and woman in the Coast Guard is for the Democratic senators to withdraw their objection. Is that correct? That's correct. Thank you. Madam President. Senator from Colorado. Madam President, I seldom, um, as you know, uh, rise on this floor to contradict somebody on the other side. I've worked very hard over the years to work in a bipartisan way with the presiding officer, with my Republican colleagues. But these crocodile tears that the senator from Texas is crying for first responders are too hard for me to take. They're too hard for me to take. Because when, you sh when the senator from Texas shut this government down in 2013, my state was flooded. It was underwater. People were killed. People's houses were destroyed. Their small businesses were ruined forever. And because of the senator from Texas, this government was shut down for politics, that he surfed to a second-place finish in the Iowa caucuses. But we're of no help to the first responders, to the teachers, to the students whose schools were closed with a federal government that was shut down because of the junior senator from Texas. Now, it's his business, not my business, why he supports a president who wants to erect a medieval barrier on the border of Texas, who wants to use eminent domain to build that wall, who wants to declare an unconstitutional emergency to build that wall. That's the business of the senator from Texas. I can assure you that in Colorado, if a president said he was going to use eminent domain to erect a barrier across the state of Colorado, across the Rocky Mountains of Colorado, he was going to steal the property of our farmers and ranchers to build his medieval wall, there wouldn't be an elected leader from our state that would support that idea. Which goes to my final point how ludicrous it is that this government is shut down over a promise the President of the United States couldn't keep. And that America is not interested in having him keep. This idea that he was going to build a medieval wall across the southern border of Texas, take it from the farmers and ranchers that were there, and have the Mexicans pay for it, is it true? That's why we're here. Because he's now saying the taxpayers have to pay for it. That's not what he said during his campaign. Over and over and over and over again, he said, the Mex Mexico would pay for the wall. Over and over again. That was that. I was going to talk about what he said about the junior senator's father, but I'm going to let that alone. It was after that. And now we're here with the government shut down over his broken promise while the Chinese are landing spacecraft on the dark side of the moon. That's what they're doing. Not to mention what they're doing in Latin America and with their One Belt, One Road initiative in 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 Asia, that's what they're doing while we're shut down over a promise he never thought he could, he would never keep and didn't keep. And finally, this idea that I'm sorry to say my colleague from Texas and I, and I respect him, he's obviously a very intelligent person, but this idea that Democrats are for open borders is gibberish. And it is proven by what the senator from Louisiana said, which is that time after time, we have supported real border security. Not a wall that gets, that, that the Mexico pays for, that gets you attentions at campaign rallies from 
from some people in America, and, and it gets talked about on you know, Fox News at night. In 2013, Senator from Texas didn't support it. I did. In 2013, we passed a bill here in a bipartisan way. It got 68 votes. It had $46 billion in border security in it. 46! Not $5 billion for his rinky-dink wall he's talking about building. $46 billion of border security. It had, to be precise about it, 350 miles of what the president now refers to as steel slats. By the way, America, do you hear him not calling it a wall anymore? Now it's steel slats. Now it's a, a border barrier. 350 miles of so-called steel slats was in that bill. You know what else was in that bill? I think, Madam President, I believe you voted for that bill. I'll tell you what else was in that bill. We doubled the number of border security agents on that border. They could practically hold hands on the border. There were so many border security agents in that bill. We had billions of dollars of drone technology so that we could learn from what we've uh, learned in Afghanistan and other places <clears throat> and see every single inch of that border. Every inch! We had internal security in that bill so that small businesses and farmers and ranchers don't have to be the immigration police. So that finally in America we can actually know who came here legally on a visa but overstayed their visa because 40% of the people in this country that are undocumented are here who came legally and overstayed. We still can't do that in America because that bill passed the Senate, but it couldn't get a vote in the House because of the stupidest rule ever created called the Hastert Rule, named after somebody who's in prison. That has, that, has that has allowed a minority of tyrants in the Congress to bring a Democratic president low, President Obama, who they didn't let do anything, <clears throat> and to ruin the speakership of John Boehner, and to allow Paul Ryan to almost accomplish nothing while he was speaker except leaving this place in a government shutdown. 